pharmacies. And the um, compound, the compounded testosterone can be made up to order uh, within with uh, the concentration indicated by the physician's prescription. Um, in addition to the topical testosterone, which is uh, just rubbed topically onto the skin surface and just rub it in daily, uh, there's also injectable testosterone, which again is widely available at the corner drugstore. Uh, this is called testosterone cypionate, uh, and uh, it's inex relatively inexpensive. Uh, it comes with a box of uh, syringes and the, uh, uh, with uh, little 23 gauge needles on a 3cc syringe. So that, uh, the testosterone cypionate, which can be drawn up and injected, uh, it's usually injected once a week or twice a week. Uh, and that's a uh, readily inexpensive uh, way to uh, deliver testosterone uh, into the body, and, and it does raise testosterone levels nicely. Uh, one of the problems, as I mentioned, uh, one of the adverse side effects of testosterone administration, of taking testosterone, is that it will suppress our own testosterone production. Uh, it's, this is more of a problem in the younger guys, older guys, uh, testosterone production is dropped off and is not an, that much of an issue. Uh, however, when the testicle uh, looks at the bloodstream and, and sees that there's plenty of testosterone, the testicle then goes on vacation. It can say, you know what, vacation time, don't, uh, the testicle's production of testosterone uh, can, uh, can, can drop to, and the, the testicle no longer has to do any work, and the testicle will decrease in size uh, because of that. Uh, one of the additional treatments, in addition to topical and injectable testosterone, is um, another way to increase testosterone levels, and that is another hormone called HCG. Now remember we talked about pituitary damage uh, produces low testosterone because the pituitary gland makes a hormone called LH, which stands for luteinizing hormone. Uh, it turns out that HCG is very, very similar to in chemical structure to LH, so it's considered an LH analog. And so HCG uh, will serve as an LH analog which stimulates testosterone production by the testicle. And uh, you know, for the uh, uh, men you know, in their 50s or 60s who still have some uh, uh, ability to produce testosterone, HCG is, is an excellent uh, treatment because then it stimulates the testicle to make its own testosterone and counteracts the, uh, the suppressive effect of taking testosterone. Uh, the one additional part of the treatment uh, program is, has to do with the fact that uh, testosterone is fairly easily converted to estrogen in the body. If you look at the chemical structures of testosterone and estrogen, with, uh, with the estrogen that we're talking about is called estradiol. As testosterone and estradiol uh, have virtually identical chemical structures. The only difference is there's one hydrogen atom uh, which is present, which is different. That's not a huge amount of difference between testosterone and estrogen, uh, but it's enough to differentiate males from females, one hydrogen atom. It's, you know, it's mind-boggling to think about it. Uh, so there is an enzyme in the liver uh, called the aromatase enzyme that plucks off that hydrogen atom and converts uh, testosterone into estrogen fairly easily. So testosterone in males is very easily converted to estrogen. Excess testosterone can be converted into excess estrogen. Est excess estrogen in the male can produce adverse side effects, uh, which can be uh, quite logically understood as feminizing adverse side effects, one of which is, you know, estrogen in the female produces breast enlargement. You know, breast stimulation, breast uh, produces uh, breast development, and also can do the same thing in the male. So a male gynecomastia, which is called male breast enlargement, uh, can be produced by excess testosterone. So the treatment to prevent that, the, there's a medication called anastrozole, which is a, a drug which blocks the um, aromatase enzyme, uh, which is widely available. It's an FDA-approved pharmaceutical. Uh, that's an additional part of the treatment program. Which, uh, it's, it's a small capsule which blocks the conversion of testosterone to estrogen, uh, which we want to avoid uh, those feminizing characteristics in, uh, in, in the elderly men taking testosterone. So that, that's sort of, a nut, in a nutshell, um, a description of our treatment program, uh, which includes um, testosterone topical, testosterone injectable, HCG, which is a, an injectable twice a week. Uh, HCG stimulates testosterone production in the body, 
very beneficial. And then the last thing is a small capsule that prevents testosterone conversion to estrogen. Uh, okay, uh, let's take a short break, and when we come back, we're going to go through uh, more information on the low testosterone condition and how we can um, have better health with uh, by improving our testosterone levels. So the best is yet to come, so stick with us.